Welcome back to another week of Avery's College Corner. They say you never forget your first time, but I certainly won't forget this. It happened. My first losing week of the 2020 season. I am devastated for all the loyal followers, but my 11 and 12 week brings my yearly record to 92, 61 and 3. I guess I'm not Michael Jordan. Maybe I'm more like Andre Karolenko. But it's not how hard you get hit, it's about how fast you get up. So I'm putting on my hard hat, strapping up the work boots, and I'm ready to get back in the trenches to dig up winners for you. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Download the Owner's Box mobile app or head over to ownersbox.com to play weekly fantasy sports today. Thank you. Hopping right into the action. First game, Bama at Arkansas, 12 o'clock Saturday. Uh, I mean, this isn't a great game. Arkansas is not very good. They're America's favorite college team in the first couple of weeks, but they haven't been covering the spread recently. This week, I'm big on overs. I mean, that scares me a lot, but I think uh, a lot of the totals are going to hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Bama at Arkansas, over 68 and a half. I think Bama's going to score 100 fucking points. Why not? Over. Next, Wake Forest at Louisville. I don't like this game. I don't like Louisville. I don't think they've good. I've won a lot betting against Louisville. Wake Forest kind of puts up some good numbers. They got that quarterback, you know, he was on Netflix. Everyone likes him. Uh, so fuck it, let's just cheer for some points. Wake Forest at Louisville, over 63 and a half. Next, this game scares me. Illinois at Northwestern. Northwestern's rank. Illinois has been pretty good this year, actually. It's supposed to snow. It's gonna be a blizzard. Uh, I was on the Action Network and they were saying like games to stay away from, like how much these lines have changed to the numbers. Northwestern, 13 and a half point favorites, I think. I'm not gonna touch that. 40 points you're giving me here. Maybe all the defenders slip and fall. I'm gonna take the over, 40 and a half. Next, Georgia at Missouri. Missouri coming off a big win against America's favorite team, Arkansas, last week. Uh, good for them. There was 90 points scored in that game, I'm pretty sure. Um, Georgia, they're playing that USC quarterback, JT Daniels. They should have been playing him the whole time. You don't know. I heard there's some insurance issues with him, maybe. But Georgia, at Missouri, terrible camera angle, by the way. Maybe the worst in all of college football. Georgia at Missouri, over 53. Next, Akron at Buffalo. I mean, this can't, this isn't a great game. Akron won for the first time in years last week, I'm pretty sure. Buffalo didn't play. They got canceled, but they came off scoring 70 points a couple weeks ago. I mean, how can you take an under on a team that scores 70 points? They run the shit out of the ball. We like watching them play. Akron at Buffalo, Maction, over 59 points. Next, Coastal Carolina at Troy. Troy's five and five, Coastal Carolina undefeated. Coming off the biggest win of their season. 13 and a half point favorites here on the road. This is probably a uh, spot that I take Troy. Shout out T-Mac. Um, but I was kind of leaning coastal. So, I don't know. I think it's a letdown spot. It has to be a letdown spot here. I'm going under 52. Maybe Troy scores, scores zero points, and that would make me happy. Next, shout out to the troops. Navy at Army. Biggest game of the year. It's an awesome game. Uh... All the troops sitting in the stands. I hope they're there. I don't think they will be actually thinking about it now. 14 straight years, their total has gone under in their games. So I would be an idiot to take the over. I'm going under. I somehow got 38 and a half. I know I've seen 37 and a half pretty much everywhere else. But Navy at Army, under 38 and a half. Next, Wisconsin at Iowa. Iowa ranked. I think Wisconsin might be a better team, but Iowa, a ranked team at home as plus one and a half dogs. Sprinkle some money line, obviously better odds. Plus one and a half is basically, you should just take money line anyways. I'm gonna do one and a half for the viewers here, but I will probably be taking the money line. Wisconsin at Iowa, I am taking Iowa plus one and a half. Next, two ranked teams. UNC at Miami. Miami's wearing awesome black uniforms. Came off a huge win against Duke last week, I think. 50 to nothing. That sucked. I took the over in that game. That certainly didn't hit because, I mean, I would need Duke to score some points, hopefully. North Carolina not really playing for much. Miami gets fucked over by the ACC. This is also going to be tough. But for some reason, I believe in North Carolina. So I'll let them fuck me again. UNC plus three. But I'm going to sprinkle here a little bit on the over. Over 67. I can just score, see them scoring a ton of points. Kind of like UNC Wake Forest earlier on in the year. That scored 100 points in that game, I'm pretty sure. I would love to see that in this spot. 
Next, Texas at Kansas. Texas comes off a huge win at Kansas State. What do they put up, 60 points or something like that? They kill them. Uh, Kansas is a hundred times worse than Kansas State. So Texas has 29 and a half point favorites. I think they shut out Kansas. I think they win again, 52 to nothing. Texas minus 29 and a half at Kansas is my play. Next, LSU at Florida. LSU, embarrassing loss again. Uh, I mean, we just heard Coach O say that they're accepting a postseason ban. When there's really no postseason games, when they're not a good football team, so good for them. They really took the high road on that one, donkeys. LSU have Florida, my only play. I like, I would lean Florida here, but I'm a guy who just leans favorites a lot. I mean, I'm just square pick. But my only play in this game, LSU have Florida, is gonna be the over 67 and a half. I think it looks a lot like last week. Next, Auburn at Mississippi State. I have been wrong on Auburn every single time I've bet them or against them, and that is very frustrating. Auburn, Bonex, man, I just hate you. He's got that good wide receiver. Minus six and a half. I saw this started at nine, and then it got inside a touchdown, so that intrigued me. I like the fact that it's inside a touchdown here. Auburn on the road at Mississippi State. I'm gonna take them, minus six and a half. Next, USC has found a way to win. I mean, it's been ugly. It's been very, very ugly, but they have gotten it done. USC at UCLA, obviously a huge rivalry game. Hopefully they're both wearing those primary uniforms. You wanna see those colors, they pop on the turf out there. So I'm gonna take USC minus two and a half inside a field goal. I love that actually. Uh, obviously it doesn't matter, that's the road team, they're in the same city. USC minus two and a half at UCLA. Next, San Diego State at BYU. BYU and Zach Wilson, my guy. I like Zach Wilson a lot. Tough laws at Coast Carolina, everyone saw it. Got down to the one yard line, just couldn't get it done. San Diego State's been an okay team. Uh, Zach Wilson probably last time on the turf out in, uh, I don't even know where they are, they're in Utah. Yeah, uh, San Diego State at BYU. I'm only taking minus 16 and a half here. Provo, Utah, by the way, big brain. UNLV at Hawaii. Late game. This is one you don't really want to stay up for, but you haven't had a great day at the sports book. You always want to bet on the Hawaii games. I think it's like a 10 o'clock kickoff, 11 o'clock kickoff. Uh, you're gonna have to stay up, grab a couple pints, watch this game. UNLV is a horrible football team. Sorry, Sam Hirsch, I know you work for UNLV. I love you, but your football team is not good. Uh, Hawaii's been okay, but I think Hawaii blows them out here. They're big favorites. Hawaii, UNLV, under 58 on the island. Finally, this is gonna be my first play. This is supposed to be a Friday game, I'm pretty sure. Utah at Colorado. Uh, this gets moved to Sunday morning. That This is a degenerate move right there. If you wanna get your bets in before the NFL slate, uh, Colorado has covered every single time they played. Why would you go away from that? Utah at Colorado. I lost on Utah when they played USC, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I don't love them. Obviously they lose Zach Moss last year. Their offense hasn't been as prolific. Utah at Colorado, I'm taking Colorado, the Buffaloes, minus two. That's all my plays this week. A little smaller card. Trying to get the winners jammed in there for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week.